Algebra 1, number 5.9a, we're going to talk about multiplication of monomials and binomials in this unit. We're multiplying a polynomial by a monomial. So we can use the same method that we use to multiply monomials together by using the distributive property to multiply a polynomial by a monomial. So when we did the monomials, we just distributed this 5 to this term and to this term. 5 times 4x is 20x. They're both positive, so that's positive. And 5 times a negative 2 gives us a negative 10, so we have 20x minus 10. See? And when they're in parentheses, just remember that the product rule of exponents lets us add the like exponents. So because there's an a here and an a here, and there's our friend the invisible 1 on that a, that when we multiply 3 times 2, that's going to get us a 6, and we add the exponents, 2 plus 1 puts a 3 exponent above the a, and the b just goes along. So we have 6a to the third power b. And remember that the invisible 1 is there, and we would add them together. So we would get 2 times 5, which is 10, and this is an a to the first power and an a to the first power, so that would be a squared, and then 2a times 3 would become 6a. See? The a just goes along for the ride with the 2 times 3, okay? So just remember the distributive property. You don't skip any terms. It goes to each one like the mother bird feeding the baby in the parentheses nest, okay? So take a look at this one. This is a very big polynomial. It's a trinomial. We've got an ax for a monomial. That's one term, and we're multiplying it to a polynomial that's a trinomial. It's got three terms. And if you're not quite sure how to multiply and divide monomials, go back to 5.3a and 5.3b. There's going to be a link in this description for you to go there, okay? So what we're going to do is just distribute this 8x. It gets distributed to each term of the polynomial. We multiply the coefficients and add the exponents. So we would do 8x times 3y to the fourth. So 8x times 3y to the fourth gives us 24y to the fourth x. And 8x times a negative 2y to the third x squared gives us a negative 16y third x squared, x to the third. I'm sorry, because there's an x here and 2 here, so we have 3. And 8x times 2x, well, 8 times 2 is 16, and this x and this x make x squared, see? So because the polynomial had the y and then the x, see how it's got the y and then the x? We can solve it that way. But the variables are usually listed in alphabetical order, x, y, z, okay? But if you see it and it's mixed up like this, it's okay. You can just do it the way it's shown. It won't be that big of a deal. So remember, a monomial has one term, a binomial has two terms, and a trinomial has three terms, and they're all polynomials, okay? And take a look at this one. We've got a negative term that we're going to monomial. It's a negative monomial that we're going to multiply to a binomial. We've got one term, a monomial here, and we're going to multiply it to this two-term binomial. And remember, the terms are separated by a plus or minus sign. That's how we know, okay? So negative 2 times 3 is a negative 6. So we get a negative 6 here. And then we add the exponents. x2 and x makes x to the third. And we just bring the y along because that one doesn't have a y. When we multiply the negative 2x squared times y to this one, we get a negative 8. We add the exponents, so x is to the fourth power and y is to the second power. See? And remember, when there's a negative sign, an inverse sign, alone in front of parentheses, our friend the invisible 1 is hiding in front of there. And he can be distributed as a negative 1. So this negative times the 5a would be negative 5a, and negative times a positive 2 would be a negative 2. So this would end up becoming negative 5a minus 2. See? And remember, when you're multiplying a negative and a positive, it doesn't matter what order they're in, it's going to give you a negative. 
And when you multiply a negative and a negative, it's going to give you a positive. And there'll be a link to video 2.5 in the description about that too, if you're confused. So there'll be a link about our buddy, the invisible one in the description. So in our next video, 5.9b, we're going to talk about multiplying a binomial to a binomial. And I'll show you how to do that one. Okay. I'll see you there. Bye.